Brand new Triumph Motorcycles for 2025. Watch this video. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well. So, brand new motorcycles from Triumph for 2025. Shock horror. They've already released them. They've already released one today. It's the new 450cc motocrosser. The one that Ricky Carmichael, the goat of the motocross world, has had a direct hand in, in producing and developing as well. Now, last year, they came out with a 250cc uh, in the events and competitions that he's done reasonably well as well. This coming year, they're also planning on entering enduro competitions uh, with the 250 as well. And it seems as if they're going to be entering the 450 in enduro and also uh, in the motocross world as well so today they've released the tf 450 uh, rc edition and again triumph motorcycles just doing fantastic stuff it's not just about one type of motorcycle it's not just about one type of motorcycle rider or one type of motorcycle sports rider they've got broad appeal now this is what i've been saying about trying for a long long time they've got broad appeal i mean just a couple of weeks ago they revealed the new speed twin 1200 as well uh, and it seems as if they're going to be new bikes coming out for 2025 as well some some other bikes looking in the mid-range and also at the upper range as well but this is just an indication of where triumph are they're not just focusing on one style of bike. And I've been saying this for a long time. If you watch my videos, watch my channel, I say always look out for what Triumph are doing because they deliver. They deliver on quality, I believe so, but they deliver on variety. And that's the thing that's going to keep motorcycle riders coming back for more. And it's going to appeal to lots of different types of motorcycle riders. My, my criticism of other motorcycle manufacturers is that they keep on trying to attract just one type of motorcycle rider. That's not the way the industry works. That's not the way any manufacturer uh, should operate. A, a manufacturer should try and appeal to as many motorcycle riders as possible. Triumph had have had a fantastic year with the Triumph 400 bikes, the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400X as well. Fantastic year. How many units have they sold of that bike? Thousands and thousands all over the world. Yes, most of them have been in India, but also all around Europe as well, and many in the United States as well. They have been sold. They've seen the fashion trend, or the trend as it were, of, of people coming away from really big expensive bikes or, or, or just preferring to go on smaller bikes for their daily rides let's say for their commuter rides so they've tapped into that they've tapped into that said, yeah okay we're going to produce smaller bikes that's what we need to do so now this is just another extension of that a few years ago you would have thought triumph into motocrossing now nah, well, what do you want about now triumph years ago we're talking you know 50 60 years ago yes definitely into that kind of world <clears throat> but not in many, many recent years. Now, of course, the closest you come to that is like in the adventure bike market. Yes, they've been sitting near the top of the tree in, in those terms, but in terms of motocrossing, no. But then they said, no, this is what we're going to do. We're going to prove everybody wrong, leave everybody wondering what the hell are we playing at, and we're going to produce bikes that can be competitive on the track. And they are. And they've been doing great with the 250. The plan was always to produce the 250 uh, motocrosser and then the next year, the 450. And that's exactly what they've done. They've delivered. They've done what they said they were going to do. They've absolutely delivered. So fantastic stuff from uh, Triumph. They've just released this 450cc uh, uh, motocrosser. It's going to be competing uh, next year as well. I mean, what the prices of these things are going to be, I'm really not sure. But you would imagine it's going to be competitive well with the other with the other main rivals as well. Certainly the big branded uh, bikes anyway. They've just released uh, another bike as well. I would not be surprised if uh, Triumph come out with more smaller CC motorcycles as well for 2025. It, it, it does appear that their relationship uh, with the Indian manufacturer, Bajaj, uh, could be prospering as well, could be developing. So the more motorcycles coming out of there... I wouldn't be surprised if there's more variances of that 400 as well. There is talk of a kind of a, uh, a mini adventure bike or another street scrambler type bike. These are kind of bikes that are going to be competing with Royal Enfield as well. So this is where Triumph are butting heads with Royal Enfield now to take market share as well. So this is what I mean. They're, they're working on many different levels here. 
not only on producing those big bikes, uh, but all the big adventure bikes, let's say, but also the mid-range bikes and also the bikes that people are going to be using on a daily basis. So hats off to the Triumph Motorcycles. Well done. They've come out with their new TF450 uh, RC edition uh, today uh, in the UK at the uh, time of making this video, of course. So what's next for 2025 uh, motorcycles from Triumph? As I said, more smaller CC motorcycles, I'm sure, or more very variants of the 400 uh, cc uh, bikes uh, i'm sure they're going to come through first in india and then come out uh, later on uh, the rest of the world i wouldn't be surprised if we see more range in the in the 1200s as well something like that but listen the, the world is their oyster they can do no wrong it appears that triumph and they keep on gaining market share and also the eyes of the motorcycling world onto triumph as well and it's all about variety and this is what they do they just keep on producing good bikes and a variety of bikes that appeal to different kinds of riders let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i do here keep on watching the videos and i catch you again bye now